The other day on our Prayer America television channel, I prayed for unknown grace. And I want to talk with you just a bit about grace and define grace. Ephesians 2, verse 8. It says, By grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not of your own doing. Now that's a, that's a key there. It's not something you have done. It's not a reward for something that you have done or who you are. And it ends, it is the gift of God. I pray that the grace of God is your assurance of all good things. That the grace of God is a wonderful divine goodwill, love, and assistance that enables you to absolutely achieve your best in spite of seeming mistakes in the past or misguided intentions of yourself or other people. Grace will break you free from the limited expectations and move you beyond even your highest goals that you have set. By the grace of God, you do not have to prove yourself your ability, or your worthiness. So many people think that we have to prove ourselves to God like we would an employer. God loves us the way we are, but also God sees in us things that we don't see in ourselves. God created us with our potential in mind, who we can be, and through the grace of God brings those things into our life to bring it to pass. The grace of God proves the love, the power, the dominion of God at work in our lives. All the hopes and desires of humankind and the good that is beyond are ours absolutely through the grace of God. We pray knowing that we are praying for the best. Because of the grace of God, we know that even when we pray for our best, God has something even better in store.